meet David Aguilar. He is a 22 year old bioengineering student from Andorra. Over the last couple of years, he has earned the nickname Han Solo for the prostheses he creates from the Lego pieces for himself and others. My name is David Aguilar, I'm 22 and I hold the record for being the first to build a fully functioning prosthetic Lego arm. David was born without a right forearm as a result of Poland syndrome, a rare disorder that can cause severe abnormalities in the shoulder, arm or hand. But the disorder has not stopped him from living his life. In the year 2017, David Aguilar created the world's first functional Lego prosthetic arm. These are all my five LEGO Technic prosthetics. Um, I placed them in order, so it's one, two, three, four, five. Um, and you can see a clear evolution. For example, on the hand, we first went from a grapple to bigger grapples and then to fingers. And then I decided to keep building in fingers. And on the gauntlet, for example, this part right here, when I fit, where I fit my arm, um, went from a square to an hexagon and then finally to an octagon. And I, I thought that this was the most comfortable shape and more Lego friendly because it's not very stressed on the bricks um, to, to, to make it work in order to fit my arm. It's my fifth iteration of the MK prosthetics. With only one click on this button right here, I can move the entire prosthetic. Ordinary prosthetic limbs can be expensive especially when factoring in maintenance and replacement parts. The high costs of these prosthetic limbs are prohibitive for many people. David is a bioengineering student and his goal in life is to make prosthetic arms that are affordable and accessible worldwide. One of his latest creations is a prosthetic arm specially adapted for Bekinur, an 8-year-old boy with disabilities living in Strasbourg. and the prosthetics are mostly standard they are big and heavy so for his spine it was not a good idea and then we started thinking what else we can do so we um, started just Google and uh, YouTube uh, showed us Lego prosthetic and um, that's how we found the hand solo um, David Aguilar and uh, we decided to, wrote, to write him on his email and um, he answered. <laughs> we didn't expect. Place this here, for example. Works. Yeah, I think it will work. Yeah. It does work, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's pick up something. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but you can put a. a I'm actually hands here. Represent Dandov. Hands. <laughs> the maximum represent. Maximum. No, no. Now he can um, use his hand. And uh, his spine stays uh, straight. <laughs> well, now I can grab things with my hand. Before I couldn't. And I can pick up stuff from like a higher distance, a higher, like, um, for example, this notebook. Hold on on the camera. <laughs> but... Yeah! <laughs> Go! Got it! Please throw the ball at me. I'm at the ball. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Very delicious. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. 
with prosthetic he feels that he can have also um, prosthetic and uh, he can do a lot of things with it so uh, his self-esteem is high <laughs> now uh, comparing to what was before before he was very sad that um, Just to see if it works. Can you try? Oh, it works! It works! Yay! Give me five. Or give me two. Wait, can I pick this up? Try again. This is super cool. It works. Yay! I am helping someone through Lego, through my knowledge about prosthetics and through my knowledge about LEGO prosthetics and I feel like that's a huge thing and I want to keep doing it for, for life. So I just pull this uh, ring, ring and then I, once I get like a good grip, I let it go and it closes and I get it. I'll Yay! And I'll you. No! Fist bump! Yeah! <laughs>